Hi everyone, welcome to the Old Stuff Show. The, uh, my name is Fred, and uh, today we're going to look at something uh, quite interesting. It's uh, a lot of personal stuff that I've uh, put together for you. Uh, I talked about family archives uh, in a previous show, and I mentioned that uh, there are several things that can contribute to your family archives. Uh, one being, of course, uh, the family tree, which uh, a lot of people think of first of all. And then uh, the second thing are old photographs. I mentioned to you that uh, it's important to uh, find out who these people are and record it on the back and organize it in some meaningful way. Um, also oral history, uh, interviews with your older relatives so that you can uh, capture the, the, their life and, and preserve it again for the future. Um, in one area which I'm going to talk about today I'll call artifacts. Uh, they're items that people have had in their family for years and um, finding these is kind of tough. Uh, um, sometimes they're hidden in basements or attics or garages and uh, older people tended not to throw things away. I suppose uh, products of the depression, they saw things as valuable and didn't want to get rid of any of them. So there's a good chance that some family uh, artifacts could be in uh, one of those places. Uh, my family my family has an interesting history. Um, give you a brief background. Uh, my parents came over from uh, Holland in 1926, both families at the same time uh, in the same year, and settled in Chatham, Ontario. Um, and um, they uh, never did get back to where they came from, so uh, I made it a point uh, three times actually of going back to where, where my dad was born. Uh, but I did make a, an effort to uh, interview my aunts and uncles and uh, anyone that I could uh, find to talk about that uh, great uh, moment when they arrived in Canada from, from Europe. Uh, my mother, though, was only three. My dad was 12. And uh, it was quite a story. And I have that uh, preserved and uh, can pass it along to uh, future, uh, future, fa uh, future family members. Um, it's a fascinating story to, uh, to uh, think about and um, one of the things that uh, I have also done is uh, look for things at auction sales and I came upon a book from Chatham, Ontario. It was a city directory from the 1930s and sure enough my, my father's name was in there and uh, grandfather and uh, those books uh, tell you uh, where they lived and also what their occupation was. So I was able to trace what they did uh, only a few years after they uh, arrived in Canada. Um, to many of us, um, we delay, um, it's, for many of us, we delay uh, looking at uh, our family history. And I, I certainly didn't get really serious about it until uh, maybe in my mid uh, 40s or so. And uh, so I began to think about it, uh, dabbled uh, with it uh, for a few years and uh, went to, to Holland, uh, first of all, way back in the 60s. And my father told me how to get to where he was born in a little town called Zutphen. And uh, he told me uh, to go down to, uh, from the bell tower in the city and uh, go down to the last street before the river and turn right. And I did, and sure enough, I found the building, but what was really unique, and way back in the 60s, the, the family name was still in, uh, in the, engraved on the door. And um, my great-grandfather started that business in 1884. They moved in uh, 1926. Uh, that door had been there all those years, and uh, it was still there in the 1960s. It was still there uh, when I went over in the uh, 1990s. and. Most recently, in uh, 2002, uh, the the building had changed in terms of its usage. However, when I first went there, a, uh, the 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 store was uh, ironically uh, an antique store. And uh, in the 90s, I uh, when I went back, I went to the archives around the corner from where the store was, and I had some great help from people there who recognized actually my name. And one gentleman, uh, his grandfather had started a store on the same street. So he introduced me to the owner of uh, the store where my father uh, was born, over which he was born uh, on, at the store itself. And um, uh, the lady uh, and uh, I were sitting in the antique store talking about family history and I asked her if she would sell me the, the, the glass window on the door 
and uh, she said she would. So um, I was fortunate to uh, be able to bring that back. And uh, actually, it's right beside me here. Uh, this is the uh, framed version of uh, the, the door that was in that store for all those years. Uh, I also found some photographs now in the, in the top corner here. Uh, there's, uh, there's my family, family name, uh, store, the store name right there. And so this, this was the street uh, where the store originally was uh, located. Uh, and as I said, I found it many years later. And the first time I went, it, it looked something like this. So my father was born above that store. And then the door, which you can see the name, was uh, there until uh, I came to, uh, to retrieve it. And uh, here it is in my, in my living room. So it's, it was quite a, quite a coup to be able to bring that back. Uh, what I uh, tried to uh, do too is uh, record um, for the family uh, a lot of these kinds of stories. And I've done it in two different situations. I created a family history book, a binder, which uh, contains all of the documents and the photographs and the so pictures I can find uh, of both sides of the family. It's a complete history. My kids and my grandkids appreciate it very much. And so I document stories like the one that I just told you. Uh, also have a personal life history, which I put together so that um, my memories of my own life can be uh, and it, it was very interesting, very fascinating exercise to go back to my earliest possible memory and uh, write it all down and re bind it up. And uh, there's a copy for each of my uh, grandkids there. Um, so the, um, the, the, the hunt, I've mentioned the hunt so often, it's a constant thing. And uh, for family history, and especially for artifacts, uh, it, it can be really, um, intriguing and uh, I got lucky and, and I was able to bump into this particular glass uh, but but the story didn't end there I uh, when I went back in 2002 um, and um, went to the store it was had been sold the antique people had left and actually they passed away and the store was uh, for sale and I just happened to bump into a construction man and told him my story and he let me in and uh, Went in, the store was empty, felt kind of eerie when I was thinking my father was born above my head there in that store. Uh, and I turned around and uh, I saw the only thing left in the store was a doorbell that had hung above this window and above that door and for all those years. And I asked the, the construction man if I could have it and he said, oh yeah, sure. So I can uh, only show it to you on my phone, but that's the doorbell that is now, um, been reunited with the uh, the glass window and it sits in my living room on an easel above uh, the, 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 the glass window itself. So now I have the window and the bell and uh, <laughs> that was that was that was pretty uh, pretty lucky to uh, to be able to get both of those I must say. Um, so one other strange thing, and again, a stroke of luck that happened. Um, I was having breakfast with some friends uh, one day, and um, this one gentleman was from uh, Chatham, where my parents lived, and um, I had a cousin who was a well-known athlete at the time, and my friend told me about his picture being on the uh, Hall of Fame in the arena, and uh, I should go and have a look at it sometime. So um, I thought, oh, that'd be good, that's interesting. So when I went home, I just pumped uh, my, put my uh, cousin's name on the computer on, uh, on Google and um, his name was the same name as my grandfather's and up comes my grandfather's name and it was connected with a, with a painting. I didn't know he was an artist but, but I found out since he was, uh, he was an artist and one of his pictures was for sale there and I didn't know for sure but it had been signed uh, by my grandfather's name and uh, date 1953. Chatham, Ontario, and uh, this was the uh, piece of art that uh, that uh, that I discovered. Contacted the art store, and uh, he double checked, and sure enough, it turns out. And I also talked to some other cousins, and uh, they remembered him painting pictures, and uh, so I purchased it. 
and along with my glass window, I have my grandfather's uh, piece of art. And it's signed uh, in the bottom there. I don't know if you can read it, but it's the mid bottom, Chatham, Ontario, 1953. So, um, the piece of art and the bell both resulted just in timing. It was uh, just one of those things. But that's part of uh, the hunt is you, you just keep plugging away, you ask questions, you talk, you pretty soon, you know, you, you, you discuss things with relatives and new information comes out and, and new things. The things though are not readily, as readily available to all families as, as they may be aware with me, I know that, but you never know, you have to kind of keep looking. And uh, again, that's the fun part of it. Um, another thing I've done, and I recommend this too, um, some of my personal collectibles that I don't want to sell, um, I've uh, um, put in bags. And I have bags with my, son, my um, sons, two sons' names on them, and split them up. And uh, so these will be personal things that they can, uh, they can have for the future. Um, so, for example, uh, my volume one, number one, Toronto Blue Jays program, um, things like that. I have some autograph books uh, with uh, ath ath athletes' autographs and uh, um, all kinds of uh, neat little things that uh, will be passed along to them. So, you want to make sure little pennants and uh, badges and so on. Make sure that. Uh, you add that kind of thing, and that's again part of the artifact collection uh, that you can put together for your family as well. So I have all of this organized. I have it in uh, in books, uh, family history. I have it in personal history in a book. I have it in uh, envelopes to uh, keep uh, for uh, distribution sometime in the future. I have it in my my window that I retrieved from Europe. Uh, I have it in my uh, piece of art that I retrieved from uh, uh, a um, art store in uh, in Toronto, um, and th that's the kind of thing that I would I would label as uh, as uh, as an artifact, uh, part of your family history. Um, so for so many years, I think people were just focused on family tree, and uh, you know they did that's great, and it's easier to do that today with the internet. Uh, and all the uh, heritage uh, sites that, that are available that uh, you can uh, you can look at, um, but um, you can also prod on your own. And um, before it's too late, um, make sure that all that material that's uh, in your family's possession are organized and identified, and, and so on. I've in my kind of uh, job of buying and selling of. Uh, come upon a lot of people who uh, don't know what they have and don't care about it and they're willing to sell it off and uh, it's unfortunate but um, not everyone is as keen on family history as you might think and today's families of course it's not as easy because there's a lot of uh, different fa family conglomerations. Um, so this stuff uh, as I mentioned on other programs um, there's a lot of my stuff that I mentioned on these shows that are for sale on my eBay site, Lonrem ID. Um, the ID site is uh, L-O-N-R-E-M, and uh, there's lots of stuff on there right now that I've put on uh, since uh, doing these shows. Um, also, um, it's uh, it would be really great uh, if you could uh, like and subscribe. Um, we're just starting uh, these off. This is the fourth show, and uh, it's a uh, work in progress. So um, I hope that uh, it gets better, and I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I'd love to share uh, uh, the, the historical treasures and finds uh, with you, and uh, we'll continue. I, I'm hoping that I'll be able to uh, upload uh, a new program each Friday, and so you can look forward to that. And uh, we'll uh, say good day. And thank you very much for watching.